Hey guys, up? I'm Calder Ness. We're going to finish off our Silver Age event, the very first WizKids official Silver Age event with the winner, Daniel Powell. Dan, what did you think of the first ever official WizKids Silver Age event? Oh, it was, a, it was amazing. It was awesome. It was a great time. Um, I love Silver Age. Okay. It was, it been, it's become one of my favorite formats. So you love Silver Age. Uh, why is that? Is it being able to build in it? Is it the resources? Is it the figures that you can finally play again? What's the reason? I think mainly it's the last thing you mentioned there. So I'm a collector, right? Yeah. Collecting got me into Hero Clicks. Um, and when stuff retires, where's the competitive drive to play them? Right. So I mean, I play a lot of competitive play. Um, and I do play some casual, but there's, you know, thousands of figures. Yeah. And there are figures I got to play yesterday that I did not get to play in silver or when they were modern during right. whatever, right? And there are figures that were modern that I would never play unless I got to play them through the Silver Age conduit. Okay. That helps my next question. I was about to ask, what do you think is made better with Silver Age? What becomes playable from silver and the modern crossover? Right. I, ID cards help out a lot with that, yeah. right? So I know a lot of folks probably aren't fan of ID cards, um, but it makes for a different format. Um, you know, because power creep continues on. Uh, so like the biggest thing for me, and um, I got a lot of help from this from uh, my fans was, or the, the Facebook group was, the super rare Emma Frost from X-Men Rise and Fall. Okay. And she's not really a, a terribly playable figure by herself, but if she comes in for five points and she's 12 attack, four damage with whatever improved targeting you need at the time, like... I was super excited to play her, right? She has a super awesome sculpt. And very rarely are you playing her in modern because she's, you know, she's kind of 125 points. And, you know, even in a casual team, you kind of got to invest a lot to play her. But I got to play her. And she was super clutch. And it was really a lot of fun to play with that. Like, that was one example. Okay, sure. So, real quick, speaking of ID cards, how do you feel about them legalizing all the non silver ID cards, except for the, you know, the few that are banned, right. instead of just keeping it to purely silver age stuff? Now it's all ID cards. How do you feel about that? I mean, again, it allows you to play just more of my collection. Right. So, it makes it more interesting, yeah, right? It makes yeah. it more interesting, more variables. Um, like, I played the Chase Black Widow. Okay. She came out on an ID card, she came out the start of the pandemic. She retired before yeah. in-person play came back. Right. So I got to play her again, right? So oh, yeah. if these, if her card, what, if it was just silver only cards, I wouldn't have been able to play the Black Widow card. Um, so I personally enjoy the diversity that ID cards allow you to play from your collection. Okay. So uh, even all of them, all of them. All yeah. Of them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where did you play on your Silver Age build, and how different was that from what you're playing on your Modern Age build? Like, how does Silver Age affect how you twist? Because a lot of people have this big upset that, like, ah, oh, man, Silver Age is just going to be modern with IDs. Um, do you feel that's the case? You know, how'd you build for it? Um, so, I'm a big fan of Thanos. Of course. Right. So, yeah. um, that, that's probably... Yeah, yeah. Right, and, and, right. I mean, I you know, I'm wearing my shirt, right? right. I, if, yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, we've, uh, we've seen the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I play a lot of Thanos, right. and I like to play. I'm playing Collector. I played Collector in Silver. I'm playing Collector tomorrow in yeah. Modern. Uh, so two thirds of my build was the same, okay. um, because that's just that's what I'm comfortable playing. Right. I didn't want to try to learn something else. Um, like in years past, I was pretty pretty popularly played Uni Mind. Okay. Yeah. from Mighty Thor, right. and I still love him, but I didn't want to have to th spend a lot of mental energy switching between Unimind and Thanos. So I played Thanos, right. uh, and I played Collector. Um, I played Mad Jim Jaspers, um, because that was another thing. Like, Mad Jim allowed to play the Infinity Gauntlet from ABPI, because right. yeah. he could just bring it in. Now, it's a pretty powerful effect, too, but nobody played the Infinity Gauntlet loose no. To much success, too much, then. and then it could be the fact that it can be just yeeted by a pog is really bad. So I got to play that. Um, so that expanded my ability. I also played the blue cube from Kobic, um, and then um, the rest of it was silver. I think. Yes, I'm thinking. Sorry, <laughs> uh, Groot, uh, Skyscraper, Wonder Woman, um, and then five IDs in a in a spin ring. Okay. So. Um, spin ring also like you know we got them three years ago here yeah. and then we ran into the pandemic right. and so we didn't get to play much with the spin ring so I, I played a lot of silver stuff um, 
just maybe not in the traditional onboard sense right, because sure. two thirds of my team is the same from silver to modern. And you think the reason for that is is because you're going to be playing in Worlds this weekend. You don't want to shift your mindset to two different teams type yep. of a deal. Yeah, that was the main reason for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really quick to end it off because we might have to go over there soon. What do you want to say to people that are iffy about getting into silver that don't really know if they want to give it a shot or not? We'll say that to these folks right oh, here. Oh yeah. Oh, um, yeah. You we've know been what? Keeping it this whole time. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like looking at Calder. Um, so right. um, just play your modern team. If you if you want to take a first step, play your modern team, okay. and you know go find yourself a group. Groot's playable with many ear, nearly early nearly every team. Um, go find a group. Play, add it to your modern team. All right. And Save try it out. Yeah. Just try it out. All right, save the trees. Go find a group. Dan, thank you so much for talking to you. It's Thanks. been a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, look forward Thanks to more silver me. stuff. And go check out Click Stuff, guys. All right? We'll uh, see you guys later. <laughs>